Hey, I got that Madden 16 info for you. You always want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel because anytime some Madden 16 info come out, you're going to get it here first. Madden NFL 16 has finally released their first bit of information about connected franchise. And this time, I think they let it all out. Last year's Madden Connected franchise showed a pretty good amount of depth. Actually, a lot of depth. It's just that some of the things could have been tuned up uh, a little bit better. There's also some things that we would have liked to have seen added, but let's see if we get a chance to get those things in Madden 16 as far as connected franchise is concerned. In the description, I'll have a link that'll get you all the information that you need about the connected franchise mode for Madden 16. But in this video, I'm just going to give you guys a brief summary of pretty much everything they cover. So let's dive into it. This year they wanted to focus on some key additions that the community have been asking for. They had some guys, as usual, come and play test it so that they could give their direct feedback on some of the things that should be tweaked in the mode based on what EA decided to implement this year. And one of the main things they wanted to concentrate on this year was making it easy to use and I'm guessing easy to navigate as well. Sometimes using the less is more approach is the best way to go. Let's see if they took that approach this year. One of the things that I'm excited about the most when it comes to this mode is the dynamic drive goals. Now in Madden 15, there weren't too many things that we could do to feed XP to our players or to gain XP, should I say. This year we have a lot more things that we can use to gain XP. And one of those things being dynamic drive goals. Specific goals are tailored based on the events in the current game to give players a unique challenge each and every game. Dynamic drive goals truly influence the way you play. The more goals you complete, the faster your players improve. So that's one addition that EA has as far as how you can gain XP and or confidence in each game. Now it says that you're gonna get unique challenges each and every game. But if these are drive goals, I'm guessing that you're going to get unique goals for the drives. But each and every game, I would love to see how that's implemented because that's gonna be something extremely hard to accomplish, especially by the time you're at week four, because things just might start overlapping. But I'm looking forward to seeing how they spread that out. Pulse play goals, feedback. Now this year they're going to be having a ticker at the bottom of the screen for when you complete a goal or to show you just how far along you're going uh, with your goal. This is a very good addition to connected franchise mode. It's something that's been in 2K. It's also something that's sort of kind of been in NCAA but not for each play. It actually shows you at the end of the game. Um, I'm guessing this year Madden is putting it at the end of the game and actually during the game when you complete the goal or when you're close to completing a goal. Weekly goals. Now this one I'm going to have to read off to you guys. Weekly goals have been refactured from the ground up by implementing a new quest-like system that chains goals together, chains goals together week to week. Chains and change kind of sounds the same. All right. These goals are assigned based on performance, position, and career status in both team-based and individual. For example, a breakout running back goal may be triggered for rookie running backs that are having a great season. As goals are completed or missed, players' confidence will fluctuate. Some focus on negative stats such as fumbles and interceptions and are tied to regression. So I can only guess and try to decipher what they mean by that. And my only guess is that there's going to be a tree of goals. I, 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 I'm really lost on what they mean there by a quest-like system that chains goals together week to week. I'm, I'm kind of lost on that. Uh, but weekly goals uh, have been in Madden for a long time now. And we pretty much know what we're going to get with that one. This year they added a visual team depth chart to the game. So instead of having the normal screen where you have just the player's name and their stats and ratings, you actually get it sort of kind of like Ultimate Team where it shows the player kind of as a card and you visually see your depth chart. That's, that's kind of all I got for you on that one. We also get a player card. So instead of having to scroll left and right to see the player's ratings, click on the player, it brings up their card and it tells you everything that you need to know about them attributes wise 
It also gives you their goals, their stats, contracts, and traits. Uh, you can add them and place them on a trade block from there. You can trade them away, you can release them, and you can edit the player all from just looking at the player's card. New scouting. So this year, the way that you're gonna be using your points is pretty similar to, what, to the way it was last year. You also have the option now to unlock the player's top three attributes, and you also could unlock their true draft value. This way you could find the diamond in the rough or you could find the overvalued guys. So if you're scouting that guy that you want to draft in the fifth round possibly, he has pretty good stats but he's very low on a draft board, that might be a diamond in the rough for you. So you want to keep a lookout for those guys that could possibly be drafted in the later rounds. Definitely spend some points on those guys. Another addition that we're going to have this year when it comes to scouting and drafting is you're going to get combine stats. You'll now have access to combine reports, which gives you grades for six combine events. 40 yard dash, the vertical jump, the broad jump, three cone, 20 yard shuttle, and the bench press. These results can be seen without spending any scouting points. The combine reports also show how the player stacks up to other players at their position. Draft feedback. Now this one is actually a well, a lot of these are pretty good, but this one is, is something small, but something that was extremely always needed. The draft feedback. Now, anytime you draft a player, you get immediate feedback as to that player's attributes. All of their ratings and everything is pretty much unlocked as soon as you draft a guy. You know how you always have to wait till the end of the draft? to go and check the guys that you drafted to see what their ratings are. And you're like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, did I pick a good guy here? What's his rating? What's his rating? I didn't get a chance to scout him too much. I want to know. And you go there and you take a look and you're like, oh, or you'd be like, oh, now you get to know that immediately as soon as you draft a guy. Pretty good addition there. Much needed. It takes away that suspense, but much needed. Now here's something for the online guys. You can quickly interact with fellow league members in a cloud franchise. You can see their game status and whether or not they're online. Commissioners can toggle autopilot, clear cap penalties, and remove someone from a league. Commissioners can also simulate a win, meaning if someone's been cheating or you need to move on, you need to specifically give a specific person a win, you can now have that granted something that we had in 2k5 but who am i to say free practice mode has also been added to the online franchise so now if you're not doing anything or you're not playing anybody and you're just sitting around waiting or if you want to try out your team see how they play see how well they gel together try out new stuff you now have a practice mode inside of the game in the game prep pretty good addition hopefully we get that in ultimate team hint hint wink wink we had it in 12 we could bring it back to 16. Confidence tuning and owner mode finance tuning are two other things that they've covered in this article. I will leave that for you guys to read. It's not really that big of a deal, but overall, what's my opinion? Did they add everything that we wanted to this mode? Um, did they miss the ball on some things? Well, it's kind of up in the air. I think that they did some really, really good tuning. They added some things that were desperately needed. Um, such as multiple ways of getting XP. Hopefully it's a decent amount of XP and not just pennies and nickels. What else? Something that should be added, which hopefully eventually we will have added back to the game because it's something that was in the game already, is when you're playing as a player for Connected Franchise, you're playing as a player, I would love to do like a combine. Instead of just getting stats, let's do a combine with that player. So it's like, let me run a 40 yard dash. Let me do the bench press. Let me do that uh, vertical jump and those things. You got you got six of them. Let us do those things. Hopefully, eventually, we will get that back in Madden. Who knows the year, but they definitely have the ability to do it. Hopefully, they can work on that. But I think that as far as this, it's, it's, it's a pretty good look in the right direction for connected franchise mode because they're, it seems as though they're moving forward and they're tweaking and tuning the things that needed to be tuned. Now, there's tons of other things that could be added to this mode. Sound off in the comment section below. And hey, maybe I could feature that in a video for a wish list for this thing so we can get started on the next year because whatever we're wishing for this year isn't gonna happen. 
but we could have put it forward to next year. That's all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Please like the video, share it with a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.